Oh, now that's a pretty big pile in front of me. So hello and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's been a little while because just haven't been going to the shops because you all know what's going on at this point. But um, I went out this Friday, right? I went out this Friday on a whim. And uh, I had a very successful haul from two of my local supermarkets, which is awesome. And I've even found something that I thought I would never actually find. So I'm very stoked about this. I'm going to make a whole separate video on it and hide it from your prying eyes. Just because this one's going to be very long, as you can tell, because there's a lot of cars here. Don't want to be cramming too much into one. Sorry about any background noise. I have got a fan on heat wave and all that it's quite hot in this room and the computer's wearing away quite fine too because that's probably overheating much like myself now i did get a quick recording of me in the shop finding all these cars so i'll roll that now how long has it been since i've been in there it must be a good few i've not been in asda for ages they've completely changed look it's fallen here last time What's in the five packs? No, okay. Well, that's something new. That's cool. It's gone in my eyes again. Whoa, nearly dropped everything. That's cool. That's cool. Um, where, um, your where is my money going? I don't know. <laughs> it's going. Battery. This. Wow. That's pretty cool. Do I like that. Do you want to do it? Oh! Do you want to do it? Uh oh. Do you want to do it? No, just because it's been so long. Oh, look at the mini one. That's cool. Oh, this is not good. I can't see them though. Oh. Oh, I feel like I should have brought a basket. How many have you got out so far? Like basically every one I've picked up. I'm, I'm watching your uh, copyright music. I always hit copyright music in here, it's brilliant. I just wish I could just... The old uh, exit. Ooh. Oh my, oh my god. Oh! Ooh. Would you keep in that one or throw Yeah, I'm trying to just. I'm throwing them all, mate. I'm just throwing everything. I see something cool down here. What's the regular treasure hunt on this? I don't actually know. I don't actually know what the regular is. Do I have that? I don't know. I do now. If I can afford to buy all this. I probably can't afford to buy all this. This is a lot of cars. Oh yeah. I'll have that. Oh dear. My, my leg hurts. Stop telling people to go away because they're cold. And... That's pretty cool. Oh dear. Oh! I like that. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of... Um, you've emptied like half... Should I just take the box? You've emptied half of it, sorry, but I love sloppy trolls. Oh. Nice. Don't think I can pick all these up. Yeah, there's, there's, quite, a, there's quite a few there, isn't there? Oh. But anyway, let's crack on. We've got a lot of cars to get on with, and this might be a two-parter. Depends how this goes. If it is, the second part's got some even more 
awesome car, so be sure to check that out, if it is. But let's crack on. So, start with the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. This has got the um, police, yeah, the police livery, part of the Hot Wheels Rescue. This has gone well. Ooh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Why do my peg, my, why do my hauls take so long? Uh, well, it just takes forever to get into each car. Don't cut towards yourself, lads. It's not safe. So here it is. With bits of cardboard all over it from where I've cut it. Got the police decals on there. Ooh, nice rear light tampos as well. That's cool. That's really nice. Nice ducktail spoiler. Red outlines on the wheels, which is cool. Got lensed headlights as well. And your little sunroof as well. That's really cool. Okay, next up we've got a fancy car, the Ericsten rod. Eric Stein rod. Very similar colour scheme to the other. It looks very similar to the last top rod I did. What was that called? Oh, what was that called? It wasn't like a mod rod or something. I can't remember. I really struggled to open these. This looks really cool though. Looks like it's based off an old truck. Awesome looking engine out the front there. That'd be perfect for a gasser. Hmm. Hmm. Shame it's plastic though. Do like the sort of dark blue and the gold striping that looks really cool nice steely wheels and you've got this sort of interesting rear cage open rear wheelbase design it's pretty cool though actually slam down truck big old scoop on the top there it looks awesome pretty nice fancy car next up the honda civic type r Part of the Honda series. It's also the part of the I Don't Want to Open series. Like every Hot Wheels car I buy, it seems. So there we are. Awesome details on there. Red and black liveries. Type R on the side, number 18. Honda logo on the top. Honda Racing. Really cool, nice front light details as well, full badged up. Really, really awesome. Nothing on the rear, but the rest of the car is covered in some awesome livery, so that is really cool. That's a really nice one. Right, next up, the Toyota Tundra, part of the Tokyo 2020 series, number two of ten. Pretty cool looking truck. Gonna keep this one boxed because of the whole Tokyo thing not existing. Um, of the, the Tokyo Olympics not Tokyo does exist it's, it's not made up you don't need to start making any conspiracies about that but I'm gonna keep that boxed just just for the sake of it I don't know probably won't ever be rare or anything because they are main lines but there we are next up the 1970 Chevy Silverado trail boss another big truck got a big truck the case is using there we go there we are you nearly thought I was gonna say it again didn't you Belltech, nice stripe on the side, Silverado, nice and simple and white. No real, it's got some detail on the front, but no painted details. Got the plastic grill, same again for the back, no details. But we have got the engraved Chevrolet on the back, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's quite nice, decent looking wheels. Striped on the hood as well, there, yeah, that's pretty cool. Shame as not a lot of detail. It'd be nice to have some rear light tampos on that one. Um, obviously the front grille they wouldn't put any on. So next up, the Acura Integra. Ah, 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 ah. Right, next up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Always worries me that I'm going to like scratch the car doing that. 
I do not want to do that. This looks pretty cool. Nice tampers on the side. I do like this red. It looks really nice. Speed blur. Nice tampos all over the car there. Stripes and your spotch. Stripes and spotch. Nice. No details, but car is very well detailed. Come on, camera. Oh, it's got pretty, some pretty cool wheels on this. I'm trying to think if I've seen these wheels before. They do look awesome. There's some nice wheels. I don't know if I've seen them before or not. Pretty interesting. If you know anything about those wheels, let me know, because I don't know anything. Clearly. Next up, the Big Air Bel Air. Oh, this is cool. Um, it reminds me of the um, the Bel Air and the Neve Speed Payback game, but I don't know if it was based off that or anything. No idea, but it reminds me of it. Who drove it? Who was that guy? That British guy, I don't know. I don't know, it's quite an old game now to be fair. Quite a while ago since I've played it. This is so cool though. Nice matte dark blue. Big ram bar on the front with your spotlights on. Right, we are adjusting the camera to here. It might have a better job focusing then. Big Air Bel Air written on the side. Lucas Oil, got all your branding on that up the back there. Baller, Holly, good year, pretty awesome. Not quite sure what that is out the back there. Looks like, oh, it just looks like a jerry can. That's one way to put a jerry can in the boot. Just uh, don't open it, just cut a hole. That'll do it. Got some of the paint on me hand, apparently. Exhaust outside there. I think that's a suspension sticking out the uh, hood there. Yeah, suspension sticking out the hood. Spotlights on the top there. Rear wheel in the back. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. Nice treaded wheels as well. Made in Malaysia. Very cool. I do like that one. So, next up. The Audi RS5 Coupe, which we've had in a previous colour, but I cannot remember. I think it was dark blue. Now we've got it in black, which uh, is very glossy. The camera may not like this one. Nice front details, chrome around the grille. All the badging is there. Really nice front lights. Same again for the back, even got a number plate. Really awesome. Yeah, the last one was awesome. This one's cool too. Really, really nice. Just a simple one. Very cool. Got another Tokyo 2020 car. The Velocitar. Does this do anything special? No. But that's pretty cool. Shame it's another fancy car. Got the weird looking wheels on it, but actually they look alright on this. Those gills on there make it look like a fish. This does look a, a lot like a fish, actually, this car. But there we are. Keeping that one boxed for now. So next up, we've got the Jaguar XE SV Project 8. We've had this originally in orange, and now we've got it in this awesome green colour. Is this racing green? Is this British racing green? I feel like it's... No, I think the racing green's slightly brighter than this. Oh, look at the glitter on that. Oh, that's nice. It's a bit too hard for the camera to focus on it. Mm, plastic top's a little bit scratched up, but what can you do about that? Nice rear wing. Badging on the back as well. Rear light details look really good. Little Jaguar badge. Really nice. Same again for the front. Nice front light details. That's really cool. That paint job is something else, so look at that. Whoa, awesome. Right, next up, the Dodge 71 Dodge Charger. Oh, I saw this in someone else's video and I just immediately wanted it. This is so cool. Do love me a Dodge Charger, me. Oh, yeah. Chromed out front grills. 
awesome flame design on the front there really nice I like the flames with the stripe combination I really that's a really cool design that nice red outlines on the wheels there got the badge on the side there dodge on the back painted in handles really cool Whoa. was that part of, yeah that was part of the flame series awesome right got another Bel Air we've got a 57 Chevy so there's a super of this isn't there yes I found out after I got one of these so I don't recall seeing one in a slightly different shade of pink though so I probably didn't miss out um, well it would be very very unlikely to be fair to find a super fuel injection hot wheels rod squad this is really cool I really like the design on this so cool looking I really love the 57 Bel Air but uh or 57 Chevy but uh they always tunify a little bit I feel this isn't quite right it doesn't I don't know I got another Hot Wheels Bel Air that looks a bit more realistic I should get it out at some point it's in my childhood collection somewhere um yeah I don't know, it's just slightly, ever so slightly tunified, if you get what I mean. But it does look really cool. I love the steely wheels. The tampos on this are so, so awesome. They look so cool. With all the little rust details as well. Really, really nice on this. And the pink just, it just works. It's really cool. Yeah, love it. Righto. Oh, one I really wanted to find again the Plymouth Fury. This looks so cool. I used to play driver games a lot, especially Driver 2. Ever since I was like three years old, I was playing Driver 2. And things like this Charger and this Plymouth are just like... They just take me back to those days of playing them games and having pixelated versions of these cars. <laughs> oh, I love, the, I love the rear fins on the back. That's so cool. Awesome flames down the side. Again, part of the Flame series. Number 57 on there, as it's a 57 Plymouth Fury. Good year on the front. More flames on the hood. 57 on the roof as well. But yeah, that car is just so cool. Nice steelies on there too. Really like that. Looking at it, I feel it could do with uh, a possible custom, if I can find another one. Where it uh, is lower. I feel like it could do with being a little bit low. Low to the ground. So next up we've got a 90 Cura NSX. Part of the Hot Wheels Exotic series. Ha, cracked you. Got you. Starting to get better at opening them now. Ryula, Ryula Circuit. International Racing Course. Ha. Huh. Nice badge on the front. So it's obviously Ryula Circuit. I'm not sure where that is or what that is. But I feel like I've seen that circuit before. Possibly from a game. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Nice simple red. Sponsoring a circuit. That's pretty awesome. Got to love an NSX. As he puts it out of the screen. So you can't actually see it. <laughs> so we've got the Mercedes-Benz A-Class in red. Was this in black previously? Probably. Can't remember. Nice real light details on that. Number plate and badge. All nice and good. That's really cool. Front light details as well. Front plate and badge. Apparently it's got wide art of uh, wide wheels. <laughs> got spaces on the wheels. Again, just a simple one like the last Audi. Nice in red, recolour. But it's just good. It's just good. That's all we can say about that. So I might. Do I part two this? I don't know. I don't know how long it's been going on for, but I'm going to clear these cars out of the way so we've got space for the next few. So, still got 12 more to go. So next up we've got the Nova Wagon Gasser. I think we've had this before in the light blue. Whoa. And now we've got it again in this awesome looking orangey red colour. Southeast Gasses Association. Good year. Some nice 
retro striping on there as well. Looks really cool. There's your engine and your exhaust down the side. Fin front wheels. Yeah, we've all seen the gasser. We all know they're cool. Still got my plans for a custom gasser, but um, I don't know. I just need to get on with that, but I don't want to mess it up. So we got the Sesto Elemento, and again, I know that there is a super of this, I'm pretty sure. Did, didn't see one that looked like it. These sort of cars, it's so easy to tell if it's a super, if it's against, or you see more than one of them. Um, well, actually, to be fair, it's quite easy to tell if it's a super, just from the um, Spectre Flame. But, um, yeah, I saw quite a few of these. This was all from Asda. Which, as you saw in the you saw in the video before, anyway. Oh, I don't want to use the knife. Why do they do this to me? Just want access to my cars, man. Just want access to my cars. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Nice front light details. Little badge on there as well. Cool blue and orange colour scheme. Very renowned colour scheme. It's got those sort of weird wheels on it, but it's a Lamborghini, so it, they work because it's just so crazy, which is really cool. But yeah, would like the Super, but I don't know. I feel like the Spectra Flame Blue doesn't quite work as well with the orange that that light blue does. It just looks a little bit off, probably because it's not the norm that you're used to. Could just be my opinion, but of course, it still looks amazing with that paint but I'd rather it wasn't comboed with the orange trim I don't know let me know your opinion I'd rather if the trim was just black to be fair anyway the 2019 Audi RS Spider R8 Spider not RS that's an 8 I knew that just didn't say it it's only so much of this I can take before it just becomes it's not it's not a joke anymore it's not a joke this isn't funny. Stop laughing. Oh wait, you weren't laughing. Yes, I know, they're not funny. Anyway, I've got the car out now, look. Number plate on the front. They like these number plates now. A lot of cars have been coming with them. Nice front light details. Come on camera. I feel like the front, are the front lights in the right place? I feel like they're meant to be slightly higher up. Uh, come on camera. Yeah, I feel like they're meant to be a little bit higher. So then the lights are okay, but not 100% on this one. Got your two little badges, the Audi badge and the R8 badge down there. Too close to focus on that, I think. Rear bit looks good though. That looks well, mm, no, it looks a little bit crooked. I suppose I can't complain too much, but I might try and find another one with slightly better tampos. But the actual tampos themselves, the lights look really, really well done. Getting quite a lot of light glare. It's hard to see them. But this is really cool. Just a nice car. Oh, I'm getting a bit of screen flicker now. Oh, that's well, gone now. Right, next up we have the BMW Z4 Motorsport. Oh, I'm going to have to stop the screen flicker. Right, let's crack her open. I find it works quite well if I pinch the card. It seems to be working quite well for me. So we've got awesome BMW M Sport stripes on there. Well, I say stripes, I kind of just, um, I'm not sure what sort of design that is. It's pretty interesting though. Looks really cool, nice big wang on the back. I don't know about the Z4s, not too keen on them. Nice badge on the front there. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's nice it's a race one, but I don't know about the Z4s in general. Centauri... Centauri... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm losing my mind. It's just a long... We've seen it before. Oh, come on. Don't do it. No, no, don't do it. Ugh. Ah, oh. ha, ha! I win. Me one, then one hundred and fifty-six thousand because it just does it all the time. 
nice front light details nice badge i think we have had this car before again rear details are good now i definitely remember this was it in silver or orange maybe oh i don't know i like the red base so you get the red on the front splitter and the side wing there that's pretty cool i like that i'm pretty sure that is a recolor right next up the 69 camaro i've i really need to look at what cases these are all from i think there's a few cases combined considering that as you can see there that's another super well this one isn't but there's another super of that and then i had the bel air earlier so I feel like there must be at least three or four cases involved in this. This car didn't come from Asda. Neither did another one. I remember what the other one was. Oh, it was the truck. The truck in the last video. These didn't come from Asda. They came from Tesco's along with another very special car. But this is pretty cool. Camaro. Drop top. Very cool. Liking the decals on this. The awesome black and yellow stripes. Good year on there. With that metallic blue just oh it looks so good really nice fast work wheels as well i like that a lot but i also like this the datsun 620 in a really nice sort of orangey brown color hard to say what this color is <sighs> there we go jdm legends with spark plug on there that's cool i like that Nice striping down the side as well. Good old steely wheels with a white outline. Nice silver splitter on that as well. That's just really cool. Datsun written on the rear there. That's just really cool. I love the colour of that as well. That's a pretty cool, unique colour. I do like that. Let's put it here so it's visible. Right, ooh, interesting ones. I'm going to leave those two to last because they're more interesting. Sorry, you have to wait. So, long cards. These four, I'll have to mention this. My brother was out with my dad shopping and he found them for me a couple of days before the rest of the lot. So here's the Hudson Hornet. Yeah, they were long cards. I think they found them hung up on the... Um, hung up on plastic lines on the shelves, not in the toy section. Hudson Hornet, part of the Rod Squad. This is really cool. Nice metallic purple. We've had a recolor of this recently. This is really cool though. Do like that. We've also got the Ford Galaxy. Shame it's not the Super because usually being long card, there's a higher chance. Um, but this is awesome. I'm pretty sure it is this car that has the Super in the sort of grey. More of a great wool. Mind you, I do like that paint scheme. Nice dark black, but sort of like a green tint of glitter in it. That's really cool. The camera, I don't think, is doing it justice. It can sort of see it, but it looks a little bit more green, the glitter. That's so cool, though. Nice green flames on the side, number 20. Green wheels. Yeah, that's really cool. Do like that. Yeah, that's nice. That paint is so cool, though. It's so subtle. It's really cool. It's so subtle. Next up, what for a brief second I thought was a, a error, and then I saw the actual thing there and went, oh, it's not an error. The McLaren Speedtail. This is really cool. I am going to keep this one boxed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. I'm going to keep this one boxed for now, as it's a mint condition long card really awesome car it looks so so cool we've got some real light detail and a badge on the front but not much else nice sort of silvery blue it's a pretty cool looking color and then your two wheels which both look awesome that's really cool that and another car i'm gonna keep carded i'm so sorry i had no idea this existed but the koenigsegg jesco see i'm always a fan of koenigsegg if I ever had to buy a supercar, I'd only probably ever buy a Koenigsegg. Uh, yeah, expensive taste. No, I don't have expensive taste. I just have a weird liking for Koenigsegg. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people like Koenigsegg. Nice front light details. 
Got the front badge on there. Green accents. Light green accents as well. Awesome rear wang on the back. And then Koenigsegg written on the plate there, which is a little bit lopsided, which is a shame. That's annoying. But again, mint condition long card. Going to keep this as is for now. Are these... No, these are international. They've got all the other languages on. So these are international still. That's really cool. I had no idea that there was a mainline Koenigsegg out. No clue until my brother came home with it. So I was very lucky and I was very happy. So there we are. We finally got through it all. And it only took like half a day. Lots of brand new, awesome mainlines. Super cool peg hunt that was really successful. And I just... Yeah, it was quite an expensive one, but so, so worth it. And just, oh, these two. Oh. But yeah, I have actually got this. I'm going to make the video very soon. That will be out very soon. Be sure to check that out because I just, I just, I cannot believe it. I just can't. And it's changed. It has changed my mindset on things a little bit. But anyway. I'm shaking the camera. My phone is boiling hot. It's nearly burning my hands. So I think it's time to end here. Hopefully this wasn't too long. Um, I'm not sure if people like the longer videos or want shorter videos like part one and part two. I'm. Let me know in the comments what you think because it's ideal for me to know. I just want to. I just want to do it right. You know. Just want to do it right. But I hope you've enjoyed. Lots of awesome main lines, and I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. But I still hope you're going out. I hope you're finding your cars. I hope you're getting out there, finding some cool stuff. I wish you luck with your peg hunting. I didn't find any cool sets recently. I've not been out. There's been supermarkets don't seem to stock sets anymore. Um, hopefully I can be able to go out to some toy shops at some point soon. Some proper places to find some sets and maybe even some cooler stuff. Maybe some ID cars would be cool. Not found an ID car yet. Now that is something that would be awesome. But yeah, let me know how it's going for you. I hope you're all enjoying life. But of course, I shall see you again, hopefully, in the next video. Which will be soon. Very soon. Bye.